check out a simple circuit. Simple circuit really has four components. I've got a battery or a source, whatever that source may be, a current path up to my load, and a current path from my load back to my source. This symbol right here is a symbol for a battery and the positive side is the side of the symbol that has the longer um, bar on it. This is negative as a short bar and the longest bar is this positive side. So at any rate our source battery comes up. Our kind of universal symbol for a resistor is this squiggly line. A more specific a uh, symbol for a resistor would be this representation of a light bulb. For the circuit that we're going to build here, um, we've got a battery, which is our source. It's a 12 volt, 18 amp hour battery. I've got a uh, current path from the battery to my load. I've got a current path from my load back to the battery. And I got a load, which is just simply this light bulb. So here we go. Let's build a simple circuit. Plug the light bulb into the current paths, and then we're going to just uh, hook the current path up to the battery. So I'm put my power cable on there, and put my ground cable on over here, and what do you know? Bulb operates pretty typical, right? We got current in, through the load, current out of the load and back to the battery. Okay, that's our basic circuit. Now, uh, every circuit really needs to have a few things. First thing that we need to put into our circuit is some way to keep the circuit um, from doing crazy stuff if we have a circuit fault like a short. So I'm going to add a fuse. This right here is a fuse holder and this is my fuse. What a fuse is designed to do is a uh, fuse melts when the temperature gets too hot within a circuit. And that will occur if I have a short and I have unimpeded current flow. So I'm going to disconnect my source, disconnect my load, plug this wire in that has the fuse in it. I'm going to plug this back into the fuse up here on this end and plug it back in and the load still operates. But now we have this second component. So if I'm going to draw that out, now what I've got is something that looks kind of like this. That's the symbol for a fuse. There's my bulb. Here's my return path. Okay, so there's my circuit right there. Now, this is pretty good, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to turn on and turn off because in order to turn it on and off, I've got to physically disconnect it from the battery on either the power side or the ground side. Either way will work. Doesn't matter. If I've got this basic circuit, all it takes is an interruption in the current path and the circuit won't operate anymore. Okay. Let's make it a little more convenient to start our circuit up and shut it off. Unplug this. Take this off. I'm going to put a switch in there. All right. The switch just controls whether I have current flowing to the uh, load or not. So hook this up here, here, and now we're going to put it up here to the battery. Okay, the light's on, so that tells me that the switch is on. Shut the switch off, lights off, shut the switch on, off, on, off, on. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. It's not magic. It's pretty typical. We're all used to turning on a switch and having a light come on. So now this right here is the representation that we've had. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to draw out another one. We're going to add another uh, circuit here. OK. 
Okay. Right, negative, positive. Come out of here. I got my fuse. Like that. Now I come up here and I'm going to draw this symbol, which is the symbol for a switch. I'm going to come up here to the load. It's my bulb. Back to the. Okay. So now this middle circuit diagram shows us all the components that we need to have for what we would consider a complete circuit. I have a source. I have a current path. I have some kind of fuse protection here or circuit protection. I've got a way to control my circuit here with the switch. I've got my load and return path. Alright, so that's it. Those are all the pieces and parts of a basic circuit. One thing to uh, know now is that this is a series circuit. And what that means is there is only one path for current flow. Current starts here at the battery, comes through our wire here to our switch, through the switch, out of the switch, through the fuse, down here, into the load, out of the load, and back to the battery. One current path, that's it. One current path equals series circuit.